Hello my friends, Jacob is here one more time and I'm glad that you're all here and I'm back to the Wormwood Tea because I don't, I don't see next week being, I think it's gonna, I don't know, I'm a little worried so I figured I'll just punish myself by drinking this god awful tea just in case, you know, I got some parasites and worms. You probably heard, that's right, the Trumpster, he's uh, he put it out there. He told everybody, he's like, look, there's a leaked information on Tuesday. They're going to arrest me. It's time for everybody to get out into the streets and protest. That's what he said. He said, they're coming for me. They're coming for me. But Trump supporters everywhere, they're not taking this laying down. They're taking this very serious. They're already surrounding Trump Tower. Like, I, I've never seen so many Ford trucks and, and uh, big Trump... Trump flags. Haven't seen this in a while. It's very, it looks very patriotic. It looks very cool. A lot of people sharing videos about this, but they're not the only ones. It looks like every single Republican on the planet, especially in the government, is behind Trump. Except for Ron DeSantis, not that guy. They're doing everything they can to make, make him look like kind of a meatball, right? First, it was like all the, the whispers about Soros and him, and then it was other things, and then it was this, and it was that. Now everybody's really, they're really trying to distance Ron from being even considered to run, because they know that if he's in there, then this is going to make it not so easy. So, I mean, they're doing a good job, too, because people are starting to turn against Ron DeSantis, which is, I, I don't know. I don't know the guy from Adam. I don't trust any of these people, you know? Just like I didn't trust Donald Trump Jr. when he put on Twitter just like moments ago, he put he put this meme up. It's a meme where it says, it says, you know, just so you know, they're not coming after Donald Trump. They're coming after you. He's just the way in. And, and, and Donald Trump Jr. was like, this is real. This matters more now than ever. And I'm thinking, hang on a second. So you're telling me they're not really after Donald Trump? They're after us? They're just going to use him to get to us? Because that sounds a lot like witchcraft to me, too. I got to tell you, it's a big dis it seems like it's a big, big distraction from the aliens. I'm thinking that's probably what's going on. You know, he had some business dealings with, uh, with Stormy Daniels. If you remember her, Stormy Daniels, who uh, she was, you know, a, 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 one of them porn stars. She was one of them porn stars, and uh, she got a big, big payment. I don't know. Some people say that, you know, they paid her off so she wouldn't talk about certain things. And then some people say that, you know, he wrote off this payoff as it was like a big deal. It was a big to do, right? With the lawyer and everything else, the lawyer who got disbarred and ended up in jail for committing fraud. All of this stuff is like just riddled with so much interesting information. Very interesting. Did you know Stormy Daniels is a witch? That's right. Witches of uh, of Brestwick. <laughs> what she was known for. It was like in 2005. Yeah, that was right before their affair in like 2006. Very strange stuff. All of this. All this thing. She's actually, she says she is a witch. She says that they're going to hold this against her. They're in the court proceedings and everything else, which she lost. Like, I'm not going to choose sides here. I think the whole thing is a big, a big show. For whatever reason, I think it's a distraction for something else. Probably like a mothership or something out there in space. But in the meantime, we might as well enjoy, you know, uh, seeing this come full circle. Because years ago, I told you told you a long time ago I said listen this is what's going to happen with the Trumpster because he's connected to all of his stuff like blood moons and a lot of interesting things I've like just video after video about this but before the election when he was president back in October I did a video and I, I talked about a dream that I had uh, the video was called like revelations head fatal head wound re revealed this was before he lost the election and just uh, take a look so I have a dream. It's a very strange dream. I don't pay much attention to it. In the dream, and it was a couple of them, but this one was the one that stood out the most. In the dream, I, for some reason, was like with one arm was carrying like the casket of, uh, of our president. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, but it, it was open. But on the left-hand side of me, there was our president. 
So it was very strange. There was like, you know, it was one in the uh, casket with the casket wide open. There was also, I remember there being like, I noticed there was moss on the bottom of, uh, of, of the casket, moss that was growing there. But in the dream, you know, uh, the president was, he was, he was smiling, he was laughing, he was having a great old time. And here I am carrying this and I, I didn't understand. I'm like, oh, and then I woke up and I'm like, oh, I get it. It's going to be like a fake thing, right? So it is strange, right? Because it seems like he lost everything, all of that stuff. And uh, now it seems like he's coming back, but you know, he's coming back a little bit stronger. He's got his own now social media empire. Truth, social truth. <laughs> Pilot said, what is truth? Seems like everybody thinks that he's kind of a shoe-in for the next president. That's the big thing, especially if he gets arrested for all this stuff. Even Elon Musk, Elon Musk was out there. He was saying, look, if he gets arrested, this is going to, it's going to be a landslide victory. I was one of the few people a, a long time ago, just so you know, I don't even, I don't even want to say few people. I don't know anybody else that was like me that was uh, telling people, maybe Casey from like Enter the Stars, maybe him. I was like the only person saying, there's something not right about all this stuff. Yeah, there's something not right about all this stuff. You gotta remember Operation Warp Speed and a lot of other things. There's a lot of shady stuff going on with this guy, but on the flip side of the coin, I could be completely wrong because you know, that dream that I had, I always thought to myself, well, maybe, maybe I'm wrong. Because see, God brings leaders and he puts them in place for a reason. Whether they're great or good godly men, that's probably, you know, I don't think God really, uh, he doesn't factor that in many times. Like he used Pharaoh, he wasn't a great guy. He used uh, Jehu, Jesus, Jehu wasn't that great of a guy. You know, these, these people that God uses for correction and judgment, maybe not the most peace-loving people on the planet. So there's always the possibility that this is all a wonderful thing. But I think it's a lot of hocus pocus witchcraft. Why? Well, Stormy Daniels, she's a witch, right? See, she, she's a witch. That's for one. Maga in Latin, it means witch, witchcraft, sorcerer. Interesting. You know, Simon Magus say it all the time. So, w w is it so hard to think that maybe all the stuff that's about to go down, if it goes down, they say, he says on Tuesday, that's the big day, Tuesday. Which, by the way, is the day before 322. 223. I got a video about that, right? This was uh, this was some, something we, we knew was going to be a big deal. I don't know why. Just kind of felt that way. A lot of these things seem to line up with these, you know, supernatural dates. 322 being like the skull and bones and all that stuff. But hey, all that stuff um, besides, you know... <laughs> The, uh, the, the, the all the witch talk, which Trump is, by the way, saying, he says this stuff with Stormy Daniels, it is a witch hunt. That's what he's saying. They're hunting for a witch. That's that's what it would literally mean. You know, somebody just, uh, somebody, I think it was Mitchell, just, uh, just DM me this too while I was working on this show about uh, Stormy Daniels and all the witch stuff. You know, she's into like the paranormal. She does things with like, with like cards and, you know, she does all that stuff. Look, I mean, it's just, it's very funny. You think about this, it's very strange. She's known for the witches of Brestwick, right? She says she's a witch connected to Trump whose MAGA means witch. It's just weird. Now, a lot of people would say that that's really kind of foolish because if you think about it, listen to, you know, the stuff that he did. Move the, uh, you know, Jerusalem became the capital. Big deal. They minted him on that coin, which on Twitter, I was just reminding everybody. On the bottom of the coin, you know what it says? He's been charged to rebuild the temple. That's right. Donald Trump's going to rebuild the temple of God. But then I reminded everybody that the temple of God is us. It's not a literal building. God doesn't dwell in buildings made with man's corrupt hands. But he's been charged with it. So who's to say he's not going to do it? I've said for years, well, at least a couple of years now, I said that we're biding our time. I said, it's gonna come out that all this stuff was all, you know, it wasn't on the up and up and people are gonna get in trouble. And if he gets, if he gets arrested, which he may, I don't know, you know, it's like you think, you think about this, the symbolism of all this, it would only be more interesting 
and and more um i don't know dramatic if this was like a major motion picture god forbid because i don't want this to happen that if he does get arrested that there's some kind of an attempt on his life god forbid i don't want to see any of that stuff happen but you think about these things it's like we've gotten to that place it's like enough already with all the theatrics right why don't we just let the past go nancy pelosi was like complaining about him on twitter she wrote whatever the grand jury decides in consideration makes clear no one is above the law, not even the former president of the United States. The former president's announcement this morning is reckless. Doing so to keep himself in the news, to foment unrest among his supporters. He cannot hide from his violations of the law, disrespect for our elections and incitements to violence. Rightfully, our legal system will decide how to hold him accountable. To which Cat Turd on uh, Twitter replied, no one is above the law. Nancy Pelosi's worth $200 million because of illegal insider trading. This is what Cat Turd wrote. Her husband is on video so drunk in a DUI stop, he couldn't even let go of the cop car to do a field sobriety test without falling down. And he got a slap on a wrist. No one's above the law. Cat Turd makes a point. Whoever Cat Turd is. But Trump says he's expecting this arrest on Tuesday as New York... It's my state, I'm in Strong Island. Law enforcement prepares a possible indictment. <laughs> indictment. All of this stuff. It's incredibly compelling. He's got everybody, everybody up in arms and everybody's thinking, but you know what's been, you know what's been uh, kind of a stuck in my jaw? And it's not, it's, it's, it's not just the wormwood tea, which is absolutely horrible. I'm trying to, I'm trying to bear with it because I don't want, you know, it's, 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 it's horrible. I, it is horrible, but I did really feel like I should, I should just kind of power through <laughs> for this show. I've been seeing wolves, like wolves everywhere. I started tweeting about it, you know. You know me, right? It'll be like one day I'm talking about bears, then I'm talking about eagles, then I'm talking about worms. Well, I'm talking about wolves. I've been tweeting out about wolves. And I said, you watch, it's not going to be too long before Elon tweets out something about a wolf. <laughs> it probably will. I, ca I came across a bunch of like little just articles that just stuck as funny to me. Um, wolves are back in Belgium after a hundred years. I, I tweeted this out, by the way. I said, it used to be lion shall dwell with the lamb, but in 2016, I realized now it's wolf that dwells with the lamb, and now I'm seeing why. Which is funny, because that kind of led me to end up doing the, the, the Mandela Effect video that I just did, that I just aired. If you haven't seen it, check it out. It's a pretty, really awesome video. Gives you some big insight into like fasting and everything else. But I've been noticing some people on, you know, even Twitter sharing just like videos of like baby wolves. And I go, there's something to the wolves. So I started looking into it. And there's just like so much, so much. A study finds, this is, uh, this is the, the uh, Onion reported on this three days ago. Study finds early humans domesticated wolves after failing attempts of domesticating crocodiles. How about them apples? Remember we just had the, uh, we just had the, uh, the asteroid that had the, uh, I don't know how many, it was like 69 alligators. You know what was a big thing back in 2000, I think it was 2020, the Trump administration actually removed the, the wolf, the gray wolf, from the endangered species list. Now, a lot of people tried to twist this into something, you know, that it maybe it's not. They they took it as like, you know, Trump's Trump doesn't care about the wolf. He just wants all the wolves to die. As opposed to saying, Trump's like, the wolf's not endangered anymore. The wolf is gonna roar. <laughs> That's kind of what I got out of it. Do you remember um, back in the day, there was that comedian, Michelle Wolf? She, she's like disappeared wolf but she was like she was like the it girl for a moment she said some really horrible repulsive things like the president's dinner or something trump warns about a bunch of wolf pack children coming out in the education system it's another thing he's uh the wolves are uh, the wolves are something that he's been talking about as well the bulls just beat the wolves by the way last i think it was last night joe rogan is talking about wolves in Colorado, you know, just that was one of the uh, one of the Joe Rogan clips, the Wolves. And if you're a big fan of football, and I mean soccer, if you're in America, you know the Wolves are they're all over the news. 
Rodrigo seals vital victory for Leeds over the 10-man Wolves. Wolves. Discover Magazine just came out with a, uh, a whole article about the Alpha, you know, the, uh, the leader of the pack. Who is the leader of the Wolves? Who's the, uh, the Wolf leader? Who's that Alpha? I even had a coyote. The uh, Dan Dan told me that there was a coyote that was roaming around down in Queens. Just sent me video of it. Lauren Bobear, she's a big time wolf advocate, getting them off the endangered species list. It's a big thing. They're like, they're putting wolves back into Colorado. They're reintegrating wolves into society. Wolves are being brought back. The wolf's coming back, if you know what I mean. With wolf reintroduction already a heated topic, Tuesday night's meeting got off to a rather contentious start with the unexpected appearance of 3rd Congressional District Congresswoman Lauren Bobert. Uh, yeah. The proposition to reintroduce wolves was approved by the slimmest of margins, Bobert said. This was after extremist environmentalists and leftist millionaires funneled millions of dollars to trick urban voters that the reintroduction of wolves into Colorado was a good thing. Did you know that rural America opposed this ballot initiative and reintroduction of gray wolves into Colorado because they know that for 75 years our state was better off without these predators killing our wolves and sheep and deer and wildlife. So, so Bobert is like, what are you doing? What's going on? It's very strange. Stranger still, I'm, I'm thinking about these wolves and, to, you know, just, just flipping around on Twitter and all of a sudden Charlie Parrish, who I don't really know who he is, but I guess a lot of people know, he, he, he tweeted out uh, the wolves. You know, from uh, Little Red Riding Hood, which is interesting because it was Little Red Riding Rabbit, which earlier that day I saw a clip of, of Bugs Bunny and Little Red Riding Hood going, and I thought, oh, my cartoons were so uh, just very, very deep back in the day. And it just it was interesting. You think of Little Red Riding Hood, Little Red Rabbit, Rabbit, the year of the water rabbit. That's the year that we're in. Strange that the wolf and the little red rabbit, just very strange. Do you remember that there was back in 2018, there was this guy, his name is uh, Hyson Rexa from Kosovo. And he took four wolves out of the, uh, you know, out of the wild and he raised them and he fed them. And you know what he named one of them? Trump. <laughs> Interesting, this all made news. Now, I don't, I'm not saying that Trump is a wolf, but I am saying the reason why this stuck in my craw and I kept seeing, I kept seeing wolves everywhere was because I did a video years ago about a blood moon that was a super wolf blood moon, which a lot of people were calling the Trump blood moon. That's right. And so I did this whole video, this video right here, and I talked about it. But I thought to myself, I'm like, why is everybody calling it the Trump blood moon? Because it's a wolf moon. Unless, of course, Trump is a wolf. So then I start seeing the wolves everywhere and I'm going, something's going down with Trump. And then here all of a sudden we get all the news about this arrest and all this stuff, which I think is probably a little more, a little more richcraft. I think it's going to be a little more of that psychological operations going down, trying to keep us distracted from other things that we have no, we know nothing about. People are falling over on air, left, right, and sideways. We got bigger things going on in this country, but they want you focused on America's sweetheart and America's villain, the Trumpster. So I'm interested to see how it all turns out. You know, see, now here's the thing. I don't like to, to like make any kind of predictions or anything else. I'm going to say it would be really foolish for them to arrest him. And I think it would be even more goofy if during that arrest, something transpired, something terrible, and it was like an attempt on his life. I think that that would be just, I don't even think that that should be in the realm of possibility. For some reason, I feel like maybe none of this will manifest at all. Maybe none of it will. Maybe instead we'll get some big bombshell news about that laptop and the Biden family. I don't know. I can't, once again, I don't have, I don't have a crystal ball. I'm not a, uh, I don't, maybe I could, you know, pay Stormy Daniels to do a card reading for me. I wouldn't do that. But I'm saying I'm not like, I'm not a witch. So I can't really tell you what's coming, but I can tell you that it's, there's a lot of distraction going on. And I think that this week is going to be a very interesting week. So you all need to pay attention and watch out for the wolf. 
right? Because sometimes the wolf comes in sheep's clothing. Sometimes you think that the wolf's okay, but the wolf's gonna eat you up, tear you up, and spit you out. But then I started thinking to myself, well, what if the reason why the Mandela effect happened, what if the wolf laying down with the lamb, because we know that that's not the way it always was, but what if the wolf laying down with the lamb, maybe this is the day where God is gonna make sure that the wolf don't messes, mess with the people that are doing the good stuff in the world. Maybe the wolf is coming down just to, just to tear up the bad people. Maybe the wolf shall dwell with the lamb and that'll be okay. I don't know. I'm hoping things are going to get better. I got to tell you, right? they need to get better, right? And um, I don't recommend Wormwood Tea, but I do recommend and you get some merch. If you want, go to uh, go to the description of the video, go to Jacob's Ladder. You can get your, the new uh, God's Champion shirt is out. I can't wait to get mine delivered. I can't wait to wear it, but you can get everything. You get Buckle Up, you get I'm a Witness, all the cool ones. And you get yourself um, a Uranus as a planet, which is really heaven in your hand. That's what Uranus is, heaven, heaven in your hand. And it's funny when you drink it. Just not funny with his wormwood tea. You know, all right, I love y'all. I hope you had the best day ever. Please don't forget to hit the like button. Please don't forget to share the channel around. Tell your friend. Don't forget to get yourself a copy of The Calling, the best novel in the world. And I'm going to give you a, I'm gonna give you a spoiler alert. I hid a lot of stuff in that book, right? This is why you need to get it in your hand. So because there's a, there's a story within a story, I'm going to give you a hint. If you take every chapter title, right? Every chapter starts with a little title. And you string it together. There's a secret message for you. So if you're reading a book and you got the book home, take that, go through every single chapter title, put it together, and it's a message I wrote to you. All right, I love each and every one of you. Have the best day ever. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye. September 10th. Mars hangs closer to the Earth than it has in 6,000 years. Like the light that led men from the east to a child in a manger, it could well be a sign of good things to come. Thomas James shall be his name. The world will change because of him. In the small town of Bethel, in a time not unlike our own, a child with a great purpose is born. Years later, alienated by his peers and abused, Thomas suffers a devastating loss. When it appears he has nothing left to live for in the world, this is when his true calling begins. While trying to escape the sinister powers that be, a terrifying vision haunts him. Miraculous events seem to follow the peculiar young man as he struggles to come to terms with what he was born to do. The stage is set. The time is at hand. The truth will rise and a revolution will begin. The startling revelation of who Thomas James is, truly, will change the lives of those around him and set off a chain of events long ago foretold. There is more to this novel than one might think. Inside these pages hides a treasure just waiting to be discovered. So if you've ever wondered if there's more to life, or why it is we suffer, then this story will not only captivate you, it may just open your eyes to a truth that could set you free. Find out what is in us all that makes us heed the calling. Thank you.